Okay, this question show you how to flexibly use the Pythagorean theorem to solve the uh, question. You are given the side of the square is 12, this one is 16, and this little one is 9, and this one uh, is 12. And then you need to find the area of E. Now, for Pythagorean theorem, we know that there's A squared plus B squared equals C squared which means A square is the area of the right angled side and also B square means the area based on another right angled side and then you can get the C square is the area based on the hypotenuse the area based on the hypotenuse so we want to use this relationship to solve that definitely you can use square root to find the side of this one and then that equals to this one and you can also use the square root to find this one and then that equals this side and finally you can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve that but the procedure involves a lot of calculations and also a lot of square roots numbers okay now according to this I want to name this part this is a b c d e f we want to name that area f and this one is area g now according to this we know that a squared actually is that a so we can write a b squared actually is the area of that square so that is b equals actually the f the area based on the c so a plus b equals f that means the area of a plus the area of b equals the area of f okay so how can I calculate the area of a that is 12 that is a square so that is a 12 squared plus 16 squared equals F All right so we can do the further calculation so that's 144 plus 16 squared is 256 equals F so we can calculate the value of F equals 400 okay now we finish this part we want to have a look at this part this part is also a right angle triangle so we have C area C plus area D equals area G okay now how can I calculate the area of C so that is 9 squared plus 12 squared equals the area of G okay let's do the calculation so that is 81 plus 144 equals G so G equals 225 okay now after we know the value of the area of F and also the area of G so E has the same relationship so A squared plus B squared equals C squared so we can write F plus G equals E so that is 400 plus 225 that is the E so the area E equals 625